Good morning. We're going to be starting our unit in Fourier analysis. Before you, you can see um, a list of 12 periodic waveforms. And there should be many that you recognize in here. There are square waveforms, triangular waveforms, sawtooth waveforms, and at the bottom we even have some um, sine and cosine waveforms. Okay, so we'll be referring to this later in the lesson, but the main focus of the lesson today is waveform symmetries. The first kind of symmetry is an even symmetry. If a function is even, it will be true that f at x is equal to f at negative x. Even functions are said to be symmetric about the vertical axis. And this page has three examples of even functions. Here's an even function. You can see that it is symmetric about the vertical axis. That axis serves as a mirror. So we have the mirror image of the right side on the left side. You'll note that this rule holds true. For example, randomly, if we look at the value of f at pi, it would be one. f at negative pi is also one. And this is true for all values of, of x. Here's a second example of an even function. This is one that I'm hoping you'll recognize. Okay, this is f at x equals the cosine of x. It too is symmetric about that vertical axis. Note in particular that if we look at both pi over two and negative pi over two, they have the same value of zero. Similarly for pi and negative pi, those values uh, of f are equal to negative one. Our third example here, some points on this graph would be one, one, negative one, one, two, four, negative two, four, and three, nine, negative three, nine. So this, of course, is y equals x squared, and it is symmetric about the vertical axis. Okay, let's look at our waveform handout and select those waves that have even symmetry. Two is symmetric about the vertical axis, five, also 11 and 12. So we'll make note of those at the bottom of our page. Two, five, 11, 12. Okay, now let's go on to the second kind of symmetry, which is called odd symmetry. Now for an odd function, f at x, is actually going to equal the negative of f at negative x. These functions are not symmetric about the vertical axis. They are symmetric about the origin. Once again, I've got three examples here of odd functions. Here's one way to tell a function is odd. If you take one piece for example, this piece here in quadrant one, and you imagine flipping it first about the horizontal axis, that would look something like this. Forgive my uh, drawing. <laughs> okay, we'd get something that looks like this. If that piece is then flipped about the vertical axis, it would superimpose perfectly here. So that is a test for an odd function. Again, flip it once about the 
a horizontal axis, then about the vertical axis to see if it would superimpose. If it does, the function is odd. Note here that f at 2 pi is positive 3, but f at 2 at f at negative 2 pi is negative 3. And this is true for all values of, of x. Okay, this function, again, something I hope you do recognize, this is y equals the sine of x. It's considered to be odd. f at pi over 2 is 1 while f at negative pi over 2 is negative 1. And that would be true for all values of x. Also, if we took this portion, flipped it first about the x-axis, then about the y-axis, we would get um, <clears throat> this piece right here. Now, the points on this graph would be 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1. 2, 8, and negative 2, negative 8. 3, 27, and negative 3, negative 27. You may recognize this shape. This is the graph of y equals x cubed. It is certainly an odd function. Again, if we took this piece here and we first flipped it over the x-axis, we would get this kind of a shape. Then flipping that over the y-axis, we would get this piece here as required. Okay, we could have done that with this one as well, just shown First flip it here, then flip it about this axis, we would get this piece back. So that's the check for an odd function. Okay, so let's go and uh, look at these 12 waveforms and select those that we think are odd. Question one, waveform four, Wave seven and eight are all odd. Okay, so here's just a quick example again. Here's a piece of waveform seven. If we flip it first over this horizontal axis, it would look like this, a triangle like that. Then flip it over the vertical axis and it would superimpose right here. Okay, so you can take some time to uh, check those for yourself, make sure you understand. But let's list at the bottom here, one, four, seven, eight. Okay, the last kind of symmetry that we're going to concern ourselves with is called half-wave symmetry. Okay, a periodic function has half-wave symmetry if the negative half-cycle has the same shape as the positive half cycle. Okay, so there are three examples here. In this case, we do have half wave symmetry. If this piece is flipped over the horizontal axis only, it would look exactly like the piece to its left. That is a test for half wave symmetry. There are no other symmetries here. This function is not even, it is not odd. Okay, here we go again. This is y equals the sine of x. This function certainly has half-wave symmetry. Again, if you take the negative piece and flip it over the horizontal axis only, it would look exactly like the positive half-cycle here. Not only does it have 
half wave symmetry, but it, it is also an odd function as discussed on the um, previous page. And lastly, here we go again. The cosine function also has half wave symmetry. Again, consider taking, for example, um, this positive half cycle. If you were to flip it about the horizontal axis, it would be like this and would have exactly the same shape as the negative half cycles beside it. Not only does it have half wave symmetry, but as discussed, we also can state that this cosine function is even because it is automatically symmetric about the vertical axis. Okay, now we're gonna go back to those 12 waveforms and pick out those that have half wave symmetry. So in order for them to have half wave symmetry, of course, they have to have a negative half cycle. So that eliminates some of them already. You see, these ones don't have negative half cycles, for example. Okay, so of those that do, which ones have half wave symmetry? Number one, the negative piece here has exactly the same shape as the positive pieces. So one has half wave um, symmetry. Number two, of course, also would have half wave symmetry. And number four, here's the negative half cycle. If we were to flip it about that X axis, the shape would be identical to those uh, positive pieces to its left and right. That would not be the case in something like number seven, because again, if we took this piece here and flipped it about the X axis, it would look like this making it opposite in orientation to the pieces here to its left and here to its right. So no half wave symmetry here nor here. Okay, in fact, the only ones with half wave symmetry are one, two, and four. So let's um, indicate that at the bottom of our page like this. Okay, so you now have copies of the notes explaining the three different types of symmetry. Um, what I would like you to do is take a look inside of um, the module four folder in Blackboard and you will see a copy of uh, a document uh, called Waveform Symmetry Exercises and I'd like for you to try those, okay? It's um, two pages in length, and um, in total there are uh, 10 waveforms illustrated, and um, you can fill in the charts to indicate which waveforms you think are present in the uh, 10 uh, waveforms. And uh, once you're done that, the answers will be um, uploaded as well in Blackboard. So you'll be able to see if you've done them correctly. Okay, all right. Take care guys. See you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.